Um, what? Did my nanny starve to death? I think she did. Don't witness the death. No! Come on, I didn't even get a chance to plead. Why does it do that? That is just unfair. Grab. Well, <laughs> we have Morgan the Spellcaster staying with us, and he has the de deathify spell. So take that, Grim. <laughs> Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Horse Ranch Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where the description will have the link to the rules in case you want to do this yourself. Now, Juliana Goldman has actually paid off her debt, and now she is able to buy horses, train horses, and participate in horse competitions in order to complete the horse aspiration and also earn some money for her hotel. This is the hotel that we have so far, and we have this big common area, and then we have a expanded bathhouse with, that now has a, both a bath, a shower, and a sink, plus this hot water heater that I actually need to get it to be able to work off of the grid. But I think because there is a generator now and some other power producing equipment that we should be fine because it says it's status fully operational so actually i may not need to make that upgrade since we have some power now this is the bunkhouse we have all of the adults teens and children living in the bunkhouse and then we have the separate cabins for any families that have infants or toddlers. And we might even have some newborns, who knows. So we got rid of Morgan before because she doesn't like horseback riding. So even though she is visiting, we will not be adding her to the hotel. And anyone else who stops by will be added. I did hire some live-in services so our nanny is going to be Nalani Mahai. A, okay, I can't say that. But Nalani is going to be our nanny. And so she does not count as being eligible for a hotel guest. And we have a ranch hand somewhere around here. The live-in services mod is actually by Little Miss Sam. So if you would like to have something like this, it's very handy. Now, I actually need to get a competition board to put out here as well. I have not done that. Okay, Doppelganger is in a negative mood, so we'll pick one that should be easy for him. And we have all of the skills for it, but we really just need the money because we have no money. Oh, and now he's fine, of course. Now, I'm not taking money from anyone's job. However, if they do have an aspiration, I'm allowed to do things for their aspiration. Oh, and she just painted autonomously. So also autonomous actions, if they produce any items, I am selling them and counting that as like their payment for staying here. Because I don't really have a method for calculating payment for the guests to stay and mostly we'll be earning money through horseback riding and breeding horses. And we got a silver medal. To be honest, I'm not sure why I'm keeping Chance because it's going to take too long for him to become an adult. I think we're just going to have to sell all of the babies and only have adult horses on the ranch for now. And Chance is actually worth 1,250 simoleons now. I think it's because of his trait that he earned at birth. And also his temperament is level 4. So Chance can now eat hay from the feeder instead of having to be bottle fed or fed from a mare. I also have the woodworking mod from Little Miss Sam that allows you to create things that you normally wouldn't create on the woodworking table so there's some extra chairs there's counters there's even toddler beds high chairs and other things that you can make and regular beds that you can make on the woodworking table that should really be craftable but aren't in the base game 
So it's base game compatible. If you would like to download it, just look for a, lo a lot of her mods are just so good. And Firefly is about to have her fall. Are we going to get a boy or a girl this time? Even Grumpy is celebrating. Napoleon! And it is a boy. Well, Napoleon, what kind of traits do you have? Mellow, needy, free spirit, and playful. Well, we really can't keep the horses, unfortunately. We only have one stallion. What we might do is purchase a stallion. So that way we will have one that is hopefully free of bad traits. And maybe we can get another mare as well. Oh no, Siobhan is squeamish. So I've also decided that anyone who is squeamish is also going to go home at the end of the week. Anybody who doesn't like horseback riding is squeamish or potentially gains the indoorsy traits or lifestyle. I don't think anyone will be able to do that though. I don't know why my horses are always sad and it's almost impossible to cheer them up. Okay, we have a mare that is energetic, intelligent, and independent. Bluegrass. I think we're going to get that one. The other choice is intelligent, friendly, and independent. I think I like energetic better than friendly. All right, we also want to get another stallion. We can get one who is brave, intelligent, and defiant. Or friendly, mellow, and intelligent. Well, I don't really like the mellow trait because they don't gain athletic skills very quickly. However, he is intelligent, which might be able to offset that. Rosinant. Okay, we're going to have to rename him because I'm not sure I can pronounce that correctly. How about Dynamo? Okay, so now we have our new stallion and right away we're going to encourage him to mate with the new mare because that way we will get a foal that has potentially some pretty good traits. Oh, and Alice is going to be neat. That lowers the chance that she will be squeamish. Oh, Kayla is also neat. It seems like they're all neat. Okay, Molly has decided to come over and visit. So usually that means we need to add her to the household. I wonder if we have had her before. I don't remember. Okay, so May Prescott and her family have joined us. And I believe it's because Ty Lum is May's father. And Ty Lum came here with his girlfriend, Kayla, and their daughter, Greta. So Greta's a little stinky right now. So we have May Prescott joining us. And she has two daughters, Molly, who is a teenager, and then Amy, who is a child. So since the oldest kid is a child, they will be sleeping in the bunkhouse with everyone else. And they also brought this little horse, Tumbleweed. Now, Tumbleweed is just a foal. So he's a baby horse and he can't participate in any competitions. And we will not be allowed to sell Tumbleweed, but we will be allowed to use him for competitions once he gets old enough, if he stays here that long. Because if the Prescotts leave, then I'm going to send Tumbleweed with them because he was originally their horse. So this is a hotel that allows pets and allows horses. We, we have already had a cat before. The cat, however, left when the family left. But we do have a pet bowl in here still, even though we have no more cats. Maybe I should just put this outside for the strays. And we won't be keeping this stocked because, well, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But anyway, the strays can have the food now since we don't have any more. And oh, what's this? Why is there a prairie grass over here? Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of prairie grass over here. All right. Well, that's probably from the ranch hand. The ranch hand will leave things here and there. And I think that we might want to get a cow and some chickens. 
I did hire a ranch hand and a nanny, and as I said before, and I have them living here, and that will make it easier for us to keep up with the ranch. So Juliana will be able to focus on her horse training and horse competitions, and then the ranch hand and the nanny will be taking care of the cleaning and maintaining the animals and keeping everything nice and up and running because it's just too much for Juliana to have to keep up with everything if she needs to earn money. Well, we'll try again for the Western Pleasure Expert with Dabbleganger, but I don't think that we can do this one. The problem is, is that we have so many horses now that if Juliana does the competitions, she doesn't have time to get her horseback riding skill up. So she's only level five right now. No, we did not place. And Bluegrass has gone into labor. So we're going to have another foal and we'll see if this foal is any better than the other ones that we've had before, because supposedly it's supposed to be from two non-rescue horses. And we have Fritter Goldman, who is a colt. Oh, so cute. We got the spots with the black hair. And of course, he's mellow, needy, intelligent, and hardy. Well, unfortunately, we are going to have to sell Fritter because I didn't want mellow and I definitely don't want needy. And we will immediately ask Dynamo to breed with Bluegrass because we need to get a move on for these horses. We get a thousand simoleons for each foal, but we only get one every three days. So I think we really need more mares. And I guess we're going to have the other two breed Dappleganger and Firefly because to be honest, I think we're going to sell all of those foals anyway, so it won't really matter that they come from two rescue horses. And I'm going to immediately enter a competition with Bluegrass because Bluegrass is actually pregnant now and it takes a little while for the game to realize that so you can do a competition even though she's pregnant. And no, we did not play. Okay, so that was a waste of money. A lot of people are seeming not to like their presents. Did someone put a bunch of pranked gifts in there? I mean, I know we have a couple of goofballs, but I thought it was just supposed to prank one gift, not all of them. Really, I'm just going to use these presents as decoration. Dappleganger, stop being sad. It's almost the latest I can do for a horse competition, and I'm going to have to go with a sad horse that doesn't have enough skill. Oh, the ranch hand will fill this little bowl, but he doesn't fill the entire thing. He only fills the bowl. Well, that's kind of useless. Oh, we got a victory and the Western Pleasure Expert. Um, what? Did my nanny starve to death? I think she did. Why? Um, I had food over there. Was she not eating for some reason? Well, um, that's a bug. I think she made the motion that she was starving to death. And yeah, that is unfortunate. Well, go over here. You're going to have to try and plead. Hopefully Grim will listen. No, don't, wis don't witness the death. No, come on. I didn't even get a chance to plead. Why does it do that? That is just unfair. Grab. Well, <laughs> we have Morgan, the spellcaster, staying with us, and he has the de deathify spell. So take that, Grim. <laughs> and we just do a little necro call. Honestly, Grim, you make things so difficult sometimes. And we will just de deathify her. And I don't think that we even have to ask her to the household. We can just do. Yeah. Okay, so. Hopefully, this means that she can be my nanny again. I don't know if that glitched the system. Um, the only thing is this grave. Okay, I have a grave for a sim that doesn't need one. And I can't destroy it, I don't think. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, I can only put it in my inventory. So, debug cheats for the win. All right, I made her leave with MC Command Center. So, hopefully, she comes back as my nanny. Oh no, I got a new nanny. Okay, well, 
I don't have her as my nanny anymore. That's so sad. But at least I have a nanny and my old nanny is still alive. She's just got a different job. So we will have to flag this one to not have neighborhood stories as well. I have to do that in order for these live-in nannies to stay here. Okay, it says he's been cooped up for too long, but I don't think so. He's outside. I don't even have an indoor area. I mean, I have a little fenced area, but he's not even trapped in there. Supposedly, that's why they're sad all the time. Because he is a free spirit and likes to get out and enjoy the outdoors. Um, but he's always outdoors. So I think maybe the game considers him being on lot as being indoors or at least not getting out and into the open i don't know this doesn't seem to be helping really either you are outside you are never inside why is this a problem okay now he's fine oh and we got gold medal in the endurance racing competition well, they sent a new live-in nanny, but unfortunately, it still was considering the first nanny as my nanny. So what I did is I made her lead the lot and then canceled the service and rehired Nalani. So Nalani is now my nanny again. And Bluegrass has gone into labor. So we're going to get another foal again. And Firefly has gone into labor. So we get two foals this time. I'm hoping that'll be enough to start our chicken farm and our cows with milk. Although I forgot we have the sheep, actually. The sheep is supposed to give us milk. Or not the sheep, the goat. And we have a boy named Drover. Drover is needy, intelligent, friendly, and playful. Why needy? Bluegrass is not needy. Dynamo is not needy. Okay, we have another one, Pasha. Okay, and she's energetic, free spirit, and fearful. So from what I have observed, it makes it more likely that you will get a trait if your parents have a trait, but it seems like I'm getting all the random bad ones and then all the inherited bad ones. So I'm having to sell them even though they're supposed to be good foals. Okay, maybe if I call everyone to a meal, the ranch hand and the nanny will come get some too, I hope. Because I've been telling them to eat, and where did he go? Oh, she's doing laundry. I tell them to eat, and they don't eat. Sometimes when I tell them to sleep, they will sleep, but it seems like they ignore my eating directives. Okay, he says he's hungry, but then, oh, he can't get in for some reason? Is it the locked door? All right, for some reason, it seems like he couldn't get in there, even though I had it locked for pets, not for the ranch hand or for other sims. That is really weird. Okay, so now we have Coopton Abbey. We have the Rooster Pierre, a hen Cluckers, a hen called Cricket, Okay, we're going to give Cluckers the midnight treat that we found in the dumpster forever ago. So that will turn her into an evil chicken. And hens are better because they'll actually have the ability to lay hatchable eggs that are obsidian eggs. And you can get more evil chickens. And we have Cuckoo. Oh no, Alice is squeamish. That means she will be going home at the end of the week. Oh no, it's Vlad! So Vlad wants to stay with us. That'll be interesting. Well, I hope you're happy, Vlad. That cost me a lot of money. So here's the bunkhouse. And I made a ladder going down to a basement. And we put a single coffin in here with a chandelier. So this will be where Vlad sleeps. And I know what you're thinking, that he's a vampire and he's going to attack people and drain their blood or plasma. And yes, he is going to do that and make people uncomfortable. But that's just going to make it more likely that they either become squeamish 
or they don't like horseback riding. And I'm going to take that as a good thing because it means we might have some more turnaround. And of course, Vlad is very much susceptible to the sun. So that will be a risk for him. I'll try to keep him out of the sunlight and just send him to sleep. But that means he'll be awake during the night, which is kind of annoying. Well, one thing Vlad can do is clean the toxic mold while everyone else is asleep. He wants to use a computer to search for information on vampires. The only problem is I can't get a computer. Hey, vampires can go horseback riding too. And they also can get thrown off. Vlad is actually really good at riding. How did you get almost level 2 immediately? Do vampires have a bonus to horseback riding? He doesn't even look awkward. Oh yeah, that's right. Vlad, you need to get out of there. Hurry up, Vlad! We almost lost Vlad there. I kind of cheated to reset him, but um, I was the one that basically sent him to do the training and forgot that he was a vampire and I had it queued up for him to do two sets of trainings. And we're getting another foal from Bluegrass. Hopefully this time with better traits. And it'll be Sebastian, who is mellow, intelligent, free spirit, and curious. Oh, May is going to be family oriented. That's a new trait. Well, maybe we can make do with the nanny and the ranch hand. Well, it's the end of the week. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.